Hello friends, I'm Parois and this is our third video in Android application development with Android Studio. So in the previous video we have learned that how you can install a Genymotion, a virtual emulator for Android Studio and we have installed Samsung Galaxy S3 to the Genymotion. Now in this video we are going to create our first Hello World uh, project in um, Android Studio. So now I'm going to uh, click on start a new Android project and now we will have like this page and here you can give your application name so let me give it uh, for example I want to give a hello world app and in here you can give your domain name so uh, whatever is your domain name you can give it in here and uh, so for example I want to give it Paris uh, com. okay and then this is the project location and it will be um, uh, um, our application will be in here and uh, if you want to include for example Kotlin support or C++ you can check in here after that uh, click on next and now this is uh, the place uh, so you can see that we have uh, phone and tablet we have uh, Wear, uh, we have TV, Android Auto, Android things so we are going to create for phone and tablets application so I'm going to select this and in here you need to you can choose the API level for example for right now by default it's API level 15 but you can choose there are uh, uh, API level 28 you can choose this and these are the name of uh, uh, API levels that we have uh, the version of uh, Android so for example Jelly Bean, uh, KitKat and I think the latest uh, release is uh, Pi and uh, now let me uh, choose uh, default now what uh, uh, does it mean uh, uh, so uh, for example if we choose API level 14 now our application will be uh, will target uh, 100 uh, devices so if you choose for example uh, this uh, uh, sandwich it will be also uh, 100 devices but for example I'm going to choose for example API level 22 now it is uh, it will be for 80 percent of devices it will be uh, used so if I choose the last one and you can see it is less than uh, it's uh, around uh, 1 percent so let me just choose uh, this API level 14 you can choose 15 so I'm going to choose 15 uh, and after this uh, I'm going to click on next and so now the, these are uh, different so uh, we are going to just uh, choose empty activity now what is an activity mm, let me first just uh, have a, s a few words about activity now an Android activity is uh, one of the screen for Android application user interface so we can tell that on an Android activity is very similar to uh, windows in a desktop application uh, an Android application may contain one or more activities uh, meaning that one or more screens we can tell uh, so for example uh, if uh, we have a Facebook application in our mobile now the login screen in of this Facebook is um, an activity so now let me just uh, click on uh, choose this empty activity click on next and uh, so now in here you can give your activity name and this is our layout uh, name after this I'm going to click on next and now I'm waiting for this uh, so it uh, installed some uh, requirements so let me click on uh, finish so guys this is the interface of uh, Android Studio and here I have an error uh, because uh, I need to download a uh, gra service gradle.org this is the distribution of gradle it's around 100 megabyte and now uh, I'm waiting that uh, the download be completed and uh, after that uh, I will talk to these uh, so now right now we don't have the designer the design editor because the gradle is failed and uh, after this uh, I will uh, show you and I will talk about these um, these things in here so let me just uh, close this assistant and uh, also I will change the background of this uh, because uh, I want uh, black background so uh, now 
I'm waiting for this uh, and after completing of this uh, I will be back uh, so guys uh, this is after uh, successfully Gradle built uh, and after downloading the needed requirements now this is uh, the um, our, this is our uh, activity main.xml so in here we can drag and drop the components so let me I'll make it bigger and uh, so uh, let me bring this in here and uh, the interface is so big okay now you can see that this is our uh, now in here the UI component you can click on for example we have text and different kind of texts that you can use and add and we have buttons we have widgets and uh, so but there are a lot of uh, these are the layouts and so this is the designer also you can check the text for example right now we have just one text view in here and uh, right now I don't uh, uh, so uh, so now you can see uh, the text is hello world but uh, let me just write hello uh, Android application so Android application okay now you can see that uh, in here the text has changed now let me make it uh, bigger mm, and uh, so it's 50 percent now the text has changed and this is our uh, uh, main.java that in here we can write our codes our logics and if you see in here this is our manifest file uh, in here uh, uh, right now uh, you can see in here we have our some uh, XML uh, imports and also this is our application this is our application name uh, in here you can uh, when you're going to make APK so in here you can add your uh, icon for your application so this is the theme and uh, this is our Java that uh, we have our main activity and uh, also now let me just uh, open the so resource file now in the resource we have drawable so in the drawable we can add our icons so we have layout and here you can add your layouts so right now we have just our main layout and also we have mem map in here you can add also your images in, in this uh, images and icons and we have values uh, for our color string styles uh, right now I just uh, say but uh, when we uh, we start practical you will know about this so we have a gradle now uh, uh, in here just uh, we have a build.gradle module and we have uh, the project gradle uh, so these are important uh, because uh, these are important uh, sometime you need some to add some uh, libraries so you can add th that in the uh, gradle module so this is the simple interface of our uh, android studio and uh, so let me click on the design and uh, now if I uh, run this uh, if I run uh, my application so let me just uh, I have uh, my genie motion so now let me just run this <coughs> so it is uh, uh, connecting now you can see that it has a uh, find uh, uh, by Jenny Motion, our virtual uh, emulator, but you can create any virtual device. I will show you in the next videos creating a virtual device in Android Studio. So let me click on OK, and uh, so now I'm waiting for this. Okay, guys, now uh, you can see that this is our first Hello World application uh, that is uh, created and. Uh, we have uh, used this as a Jenny Motion virtual machine, virtual uh, emulator, and this was our uh, Hello World that uh, we have uh, added. So you can add more components in here if you want. So, for example, if you want to add a button, so you can uh, from here from buttons you can uh, take a button and add this in here. And uh, by default, uh, there are different kind of layouts in. Android Studio. So, um, in after uh, three, uh, uh, after uh, three point zero version of uh, uh, Android Studio. Now, Android Studio by default uses uh, constraint layout. If you uh, go to the text, uh, 
so let me go to the text and uh, so I will show you that uh, so now I'm waiting for this uh. so now you can see it's constrained layout and uh, you can change this for example we have relative layout we have uh, a linear layout and there are different kind of uh, layouts uh, uh, that you can use so uh, thank you guys uh, uh, if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel and also uh, like the videos